Hi guys, my name's Sterling Robertson from University of Southern Queensland. Uh, today we're in Sunny Spring Ridge running uh, what we call an action learning group or an action learning work workshop as part of um, a GRDC funded soil constraints project. So today we're presenting on some of the work we've been um, doing over the last few years in terms of managing our constraints, uh, our soil constraints and unpacking some of the economics around that. So soil acidity, dispersion, alkalinity, uh, sedicity um, and, and compaction and just general structural constraints within that. So we're here today, part of, the, part of the work I've personally been doing within this wider project is trying to unpack that spatial variability question. So trying to figure out how our soils vary, why they're variable, and then how we can target our management strategies to them in terms of developing variable rate management plans. And most, most importantly, trying to figure out or understand which soils should we be investing in. So should I be investing in my highly constrained soils? Should I be investing in my better soils and trying to push them further? Or is it my soils somewhere in between that we should be looking to ameliorate or, or improve in some capacity? So, so we've been talking about a bit about that today. We've actually been lucky enough to install a series of trial sites across our northern re region where we're looking at targeting that spatial variability aspect. So what we're actually looking to do is install a series of strip trials that span the length of the paddock or a length of the variability across the paddock from highly constrained to, to lower constrained areas and track those treatment strips through time. So we may be looking at deep ripping, manuring, limes, gypsum, um, some sort of amendment product like that and looking at where we're getting these yield responses from down the strip and trying to figure out which soil types we're getting those responses from. Um, and most importantly, once we can diagnose or figure out, say an example where we're getting half a tonne to the hectare yield increase, we want to understand, well, well what soil constraints are contributing to that yield increase once we've gone through and done that uh, amelioration process. Uh, and where else do those constraints exist across the paddock, across the farm, and let's target our investments to these areas which are gonna give us uh, the biggest return on investment or the biggest bang for buck, um, and focusing our attention that way rather than trying to figure out, um, you know, do I do my worst soils, my best soils? Well, realistically, we maybe should be looking at the soils that are gonna give us that, that best bang for buck and that, and that best return on investment. So that's what we've been doing here today, which has been fantastic. So. Um, um, yeah, we'll stay tuned.